in this budget, the first thing that caught in my eye is the ICA. Here we have uh, many media friends in our gallery who stays with us till the last, till the last session. Actually, for them, this budget have not thought anything. This budget did not mention anything for them. We proudly say they are the fourth pillar of the nation. But in this budget, there should have been a residential quarters for them. I proudly thank our former ICA Minister Sri Sushanta Choudhury ji, which has never been done before. There are many news channels which has been enlisted newly, and many senior journalists, and as well as junior journalists also, they have been accredited. I am very thankful for, for him. But I will say, only giving enlistment and giving accreditation is not enough for the media persons. Actually, media should be given respect with colony, with quarters, and with pension schemes. I have been acknowledged that media are given medical insurance, health insurance. So, only the health insurance will not be enough for the media persons, I think. This budget should include about their quarters, their future plans also. As a young legislator, I would like to draw kind attention in uh, the sports affairs. See, we indigenous people of Tripura, we are sports enthusiasts. We love sports so much. But this budget doesn't include any scheduled tribe assistant professors for sports institute or sports college. We have one physical institute college in Panishadar. I think there is no scheduled tribe assistant professors there in sports. All these things should be included in this budget. Then we would be much more happier. In health, there are many schemes, many usages for health also. But you see, where I come from, I come from Dalai district, which is known as the aspirational district in the state. So health should be focused in more backward areas. In my village, there is a hospital, Dumachara PhD. There is no enough staff quarters. You imagine a lady staff nurse coming to duty, her night duty, which starts from 8 p.m. to morning 8 a.m. Without quarters, how hard their life would be. This kind of construction projects and quarters should also be included in health. This is what I believe. I think this budget will also be scrutinized again for all these uh, backlogs which should be done, which have to be done. When we talk about tribal welfare, I am very happy that this budget has shown the figure which the Board of World Bank had given. The World Bank had approved around 175 million US dollars, which is a prox of 1,435 crores for the welfare of tribals. But does it really go to the tribal areas? Does the fund really go to the tribal areas? How soon? How much do department expertise to send a fund to tribal areas? This is what I think. This is what everyone thinks who comes from the indigenous community. When TTADC sends a budget 
financial budget of around 1100 crores or 1200 crores ADC is provided with how much? 2%? Earlier it was more or less. I appreciate the budget has been improved and increased. Now it's 2.7%. But the budget is not sufficient. We all know this is what the chatter has been in the whole state. The budget is not enough for the tribal welfare, for the indigenous people of Tripura. This is what the government, the present government, should rectify things. In this budget, we talk about GSDP, artificial intelligence, science city, satellite town developments, logistical hubs, transport, international investors coming to state, all these proposals we see in the budget. But all the members in the house, you must agree that urban areas are more developed and faster, it's developed quicker, more than the rural areas. I will admit this treatment as a step motherly treatment. You see, I challenge here the members who says that we are doing Yes, I agree. This government is new. The pandemic, the COVID has spoiled one and a half years. But besides, the government should be more focused. When people are talking about science city, logistical hubs, DNAs, our people, my constituency, there are more than 10, 15 villages. They have not seen electricity. 70 families and 50 families will get solar light and the other 20 will not get. This is the ground reality. When we talk about the electric, there are many new schemes or companies, agencies in power department coming, which is introduced in this bill also. Let me tell one example of the bill, uh, sorry, of the agencies, like TPTL, NTPC, TRADA, FEDCO. You go to the department, you go to the electric department. My people had submitted tons of applications that, sir, we don't have electric in our village. What I say? I say, let's go together and talk. When we talk to the department, the FEDCO will say, Sir, we uh, have the electric poles. We cannot install. Unless and until we get fund, we cannot install the poles or the road connectivity is bad. That is why our car cannot go, our company doesn't reach there. Some villages are established in 1913, before the independence, 1940, 1945. You see, the roads are muddy road, not even brick soil. So how can you say, Sabka Saad, Sabka Bikas? I believe the members of the house, the leader of the house, will look into the areas of TTADC more than discriminating us. This is what I believe. We talk about the panchayat budget, about the paperless office, transparency. No office is transparency. You go to office, panchayat secretary will say, action plan is not printed. You ask the scheme, Panjit Secretary will never tell the scheme to the uh, people, the public. Why? Because they are scared. They will need to work more. The block officers, subdivisional officers, even the district officers, they rarely visit offices in uh, the ground, in the panchayat. And they think that 
Once I will visit, I will visit this year and the office will run in autopilot. But wrong, the office doesn't work like that. You see, every year, the blocks and the panchayat office have lakhs and lakhs of unspent money. Why? Last time I have done a meeting in my block, Monuardi block. I have asked the block development officer, why is the budget not spent in the last financial year? Then one of the panchayat secretaries said, Sir, block has not given us budget estimate, so we are not able to work. Then whom are we to blame? The last financial year money we cannot spend, and next year you will have another new scheme. So people will get busy into that scheme, and the money will go to waste again. And you see in our village, in the rural areas, there is no roads, no water. You have to admit that, you have to agree that. We talk about Jal Jivan Mission. All the schemes, all the tap lines, household tap connectivity which we say, that is all connected in urban areas. You come to my constituency, I welcome. In my constituency, people still drink water from stream water. And luckily, if some villages get uh, deep tube wells or uh, water system, they cannot drink the water because of iron. Because in the Jal Jivan mission, they did not include the purification. So that the iron can be prepared, uh, prevented and the water can be drinkable. This is the truth. And sir, the new proposal of mission Mukhya Mantri Tribal Development Mission that is for tribal but very unfortunately it's only proposed for 30 crores with 30 crores what can you expect development which you have included here education, health, road, nutrition, sanitation, drinking water with only 30 crores the skill development itself is proposed for 50 crores. And when it comes to tribal welfare or the tribal development scheme, it's only 30 crores. Yes, I know it's addition, but the skill development should not be, the skill development proposed budget should not be greater than tribal welfare schemes. Yes, I understand. I appreciate that. It's for all. But we would really appreciate more if the skill development budget is lower than the tribal welfare budget. Mananya Sadasya, please. Yes, sir. Try to conclude. Yes, I'm concluding. Thank you. So, I will say any member here who is satisfied with the budget of the tribal welfare of the <coughs> or the ADC area budget, then I must say, God bless your knowledge. To keep the democracy healthy, or if you follow the mantra, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas, then please rectify this budget again. I will consider this budget as a systematic, discriminated budget. And this is the reason maybe we are asking for permanent solution. That is separate state. 